What it is, guys, it is your old boy Pilk, and I finally have enough voice, I believe, to come back at you guys, ugh, even though it is a little raspy, to come back at you guys with more Dokkan Battle. Now, and Don Machi coming up uh, here really, really soon. So, let's talk about this, guys. Uh, this is a video I was going to bring to you guys last week. This is mostly regarding the new awakening that we got for the Strength Majin Buu. Uh, of course, we do have the EZA physical boot dropping tomorrow, too. We'll talk about him when he drops. Uh, but I really do want to talk about this other awakening, because I think it's going to be really handy for a lot of people, okay? Now, also regarding this, I will say uh, Genius Bloom with Battle Prep is dropping tomorrow. We'll talk about that specifically. But the long and the short of it is, we know this always precedes the World Tournament. If you guys can't afford the Dragonstone, or at least, you know early morning run do a full stamina run on this bad boy the items you get out of it are completely worth completely worth you know and then save your stamina for the end of the day or something like that do whatever you got to do but i really think that's that's a worthy worthy investment there especially for how cheap that is to run nowadays <coughs> pardon me for how cheap that is to run nowadays you can very easily get a ton of really great stuff out of that okay but let's talk about the World Tournament and that new Strength Majibu's Awakening. Now, if you haven't seen Strength Majibu's Awakening, here is the unit. He is absolutely awesome. Um, basically, he does uh, ex uh, Supreme Damage to all enemies with a rare chance to stun them. Uh, I believe Supreme Damage and Mass Damage have the same modifier. I believe that's the way that works. Uh, I want to say that is. I don't know why they didn't just call it Mass Damage, but whatever. Probably because Mass Damage is confusing. But... Here's the really crazy thing. So not only does he do that, then he changes in spheres to strength spheres, which is going to be hugely important in the tournament. Then, attack and defense 50%, which is kind of meh, except he gets an extra 10% per key sphere obtained. Now, mathing that out, that should be some pretty impressive damage. But let's jump in here. Let's find out, okay? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this event real fast. And we're not going to go all the way, like, the crazy route, but we are just going to at least showcase it off right now. Crispy. I love that name. So, the reason I'm picking this this friend, okay, is because, remember, in the World Tournament, <clears throat> this being my World Tournament team, you are not going to get the boosts from your friend's leader skill. So, this guy is not going to boost anyone on this team except for this guy. That's the only dude we're going to get a boost from, Okay. Uh, I don't think he has an alter... Well, maybe maybe Maja Vegeta a little bit, but whatever. Not that important. Not really that relevant to our uh, to our testing. <laughs> okay? Then... So we're going to run this team. Resurrected Warriors. All these guys are on the Resurrected Warriors team. So you've got... <clears throat> the OG. The original World Tournament Killer. Well, I say I won't say the original, but... The re-original World Tournament Killer... The replacement for strength, uh, uh, legendary Broly, LR Broly. Sorry, the EZA still doesn't quite touch him. The EZA does a good job, but not quite. This guy still leaks him out a little bit. Okay, then we have Maj Vegeta, who I know is a questionable choice in this team. But remember, he's no one. To, he's nothing to sneer at. And even if you do get one attack off with him or two attacks off with him, he still is really, really worthwhile. Okay. Mine has no boost, uh, no boost, mo no dupes. My, uh, uh, pardon me, my uh, LR Broly has one dupe. And I know people go crazy. They're like, oh, no, you should put the, uh, sh you should keep the TUR. Nah, trust me. With the new uh, tournament unit, or no, I'm sorry, the new 2018-2019 uh, Broly unit coming out shortly completely replaces the TUR. He'll find a spot on this team. He'll actually replace Cell here, which I'll showcase in a moment. Love the dupe, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Love the dupe, no regrets. Here's the new boo, we just talked about him. And of course, like I said, Strength Cell. Great unit. Um, the thing is, the reason a lot of people don't like him is because you have to get his 11 key off in order to get his AoE. But it's not that hard if you really do some quick maths. But we'll talk about it. And of course, I have all my stuff here so we can do a nuke test with the new boo. Let's jump into it, guys. Okay, it's not going to be a true nuke test. We've talked about nuking a little bit, and I will revisit that shortly. Even though the punching machine event didn't drop, we will talk about that in a whole other video coming up. But let's go ahead and just move on with this and see if we can do our damage test. Okay. So. 
We should have just enough to do a couple of tests here. All right, we've got Broly and Maja Vegeta. And we got Boo and Cell on the next rotation. I can live with that. And I'm just going to go ahead and feed Broly. And I'm going to do something crazy. I am going to do that. And then... That. Because I want to try to get rid of all this Rainbow Key. And that will get rid of all the Rainbow Key. Perfect. <clears throat> now I realize a little bit might pop up, but hopefully three pieces don't pop up. Alright. Good damage, Broly. Look at that damage he's producing. My god. What a monster. Absolutely love Broly. I have no regrets about putting that dupe into him. He almost doubles his damage with that with that dupe. It's crazy. Utterly crazy. Can't wait to Rainbow Storm. Alright. Now, I'd love to show off Cell here, but that's not really the point. Let's go ahead and... Ugh, there's a lot of Rainbow Key. I forgot that they don't roll over. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Uh, yeah, I don't have enough to do it, do I? <clears throat> I can't get rid of that much. All right, I'm going to hope for a better rotation next time. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, feed Boo up. And just in case, we'll drop that one, but I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Now, this is going to be a regular test. This is a non-nuke test. It's just a regular everyday test of him in the first slot. All right. And this is also without uh, without Turles. Now, our next test will have Turles and will be a nuke test. So, good damage, though. Good damage. I bet if he was in the center, he'd do quite a bit more. So, that's still enough. More than enough. To clear out 30 times. So, very good damage from him. Very happy with that result. Alright. Uh, you know, we've already tested a Broly. What happens if we test Majin Vegeta? Let's go ahead and do it here. Yep, change those to tech. Change that tech to AGL. And let's just... Just for the sake of silliness, we've already shown off Broly. Let's show off Vegeta. What can Vegeta do? Like I said, if you run the right units in, in the World Tournament, getting off that super attack... I keep forgetting that it doesn't save it. But whatever, we'll, we'll deal with that on the turnaround. <coughs> yeah, if you play your cards right, he it's, it's no problem. Look at that. Alright. Pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. About on the level of uh, a Broly. All right. Now, finally, here's going to be the fun one. We're just going to do this. We're going to put Cell in the front, him on the end, and we're going to put Boo in the center. Now, all I've got to do... Hmm. You know what? I won't mess with success. I'll drop that. And we'll be sans three orbs because we're gonna have a rainbow. We're gonna have rainbow key up in here, four orbs. But it's still, it'll still be a good test. Let's see what he does. This is kind of like not quite the perfect scenario. The perfect scenario will be between both Turlises, but that's almost too too ridiculous to even emulate. Alright. Alright, so not getting rid of any of the rainbow or uh, rainbow spheres. We're lacking those, but let's see. And the silly question, you know, I didn't check. I don't remember if he's just strength spheres or if it's any sphere obtained. Let's see. <clears throat> per strength key sphere obtained. Okay. So instead of twenty three spheres, I think it's twenty three spheres. So that's 23 spheres, it is now going to be um, 19. So, here we go. <clears throat> Almost out of voice time, so let's see what happens here. Good damage out of Cell, I gotta say. Alright. Give us a couple of crits. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, oh, what the hell was that? Okay. Yeah. So that was that was a, a, a little bit of a difference there. A little bit of a difference there. So if you're really worried about, uh, about wiping some dudes out, he'll make a great asset to your team. Promise you, he'll make a great asset to your team. Um, so, yeah, good stuff. Do not regret that Awakening one bit. Good times on that unit. If you want more information on the unit, uh, you know, it's the... You know, I'll just pull them up over here one more time. Boom. We'll go to growth. It's this strength, boo. The old school one. I think he's a world tournament unit if recollection serves. I don't remember specifically, but I think he is. Would make sense, because that's how we get those awakenings, usually. So, yeah. It's this, boo. I know someone's going to be like, no, you idiot, it's this. I'm, whatever. I'll, I'll use my, my illness as, a, as an excuse. But yeah. Awakenings, awakens into this AoE nuker unit. Great unit. Go ahead and get him. We can do a full nuke test on him, but it's irrelevant with the nuke lead and all that. He's only going to be used on the World Tournament. This is about the best test you could put him through. So, go nuts, guys. Great unit. And if you don't have Broly, you might want to consider running a Maj uh, Majin team. That way you have uh, Maj the... I'm um, oh, sorry. Yeah, Majin Buu Saga team. That way you have the, the Vegito that does the tanking. You got these two guys, if you, if you got him. You got these two dudes. Um, and then throw, like, you know, a couple of boosters on the team. Someone like... Him or the um, even the eight old, the old school AGL uh, Rose strength Rose anyone like that be a great great people to throw on that team. I know they're not going to boost your tanks, but your tanks don't need a boost. They're only there to take and take damage, and then laugh back at it. So, a lot of options, guys. A lot of options. We'll go, with these new options. We'll go over a few of the World Tournament teams uh, each week. Uh, you know what? Each day this week, we'll cover a World Tournament team going into the tournament that's a good option for you guys so let me know what you think in the comments section down below for that follow my burnman hit me up a booker like subscribe and i want to thank you guys for all the love and support we just literally as i get to sit down here to start making this video hit 2800 subs and i will do the celebration this friday because i am damn determined to get back into good health to do that so i will lay your asses out with the next video here coming up in just a few short hours. Later, y'all.